Today, I'll guide you step by step through creating a bass house track at 130 BPM. Let's jump right into it. Start by finding a fat kick something with a solid, punchy low end. Once that's done, we can immediately add a hi-hat to start shaping the rhythm. To bring in more groove, layer in some extra percussion elements this could be shakers, snares, or even some creative loops. Step 2, adding claps and groove details now. It's time to bring in the clap. This will give our track that signature bounce. To make things more interesting, you can add ghost claps to fill the rhythm. Just tweak your main clap a bit to create a softer layer. For a nice accent, let's throw in a crash cymbal at the start. Next, we'll build some initial rhythmic ideas using bass shots. I'll also add a sidechain effect and cut out the sub-frequencies to leave space for the 808 seconds later. To give this rhythm a bit of a call and response vibe. I'll now create a counter rhythm that plays off our first pattern. I've grabbed a vocal chop from Splice, and I'm making it follow the rhythm of the bass. To add more energy, I've also included a full vocal line, sliced it up, and pitch shifted certain parts to keep it interesting. For transition, I've added a downlifter and classic siren effect to build tension and excitement. Now it's time to bring in the 808 bass. I'm designing a bass rhythm that complements our main groove. Once the pattern is ready, I'll merge it into one pattern using Ctrl plus G to keep things organized. <laughs> to fill out the sound, I've added some top strings for atmosphere. For the intro, I've also sprinkled in some Foley sounds and a simple drum fill to create more dynamics. I added a fill, and this is how the initial idea is shaping up. I'm 
I spent a bit more time on this track to improve the mix and build a preliminary arrangement. I've started arranging the track into sections, intro, pre-chorus or build-up drop, part 1 and part 2. Let's break it down. In the intro, I've used the reverb vocal motif to set the mood. I've also added a short re space for texture and rearranged the percussion slightly for variation. In the break, I added the strings from the drop but pitched them an octave lower. To build tension, I added various percussion elements designed to increase intensity. I also added a single 808 note, but without the sub frequencies. In drop part 1, I've added some stabs to give it punch. In the second drop, I muted the vocal shot and introduced additional percussion elements, like a tom with heavy reverb. If you'd like to explore this project further, you can download it for free from my website. And now, the final result. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.